So uh, pay attention to this because I think personality is being revealed. And I think, I think the reason that this is being said is because, if, if I'm correct, that he's, it's being revealed that, well, well you, ju you guess who the snake is. So I was asked on this very windy night, speaking of that, to do a thing that we used to do during the campaign. I'll do it. Has anyone heard of the snake? He used to do this during the campaign. Okay, he did it. Nobody else did it. He did it. Have you heard? Should I do it? So this has to do with this subject. And... It has to do with this subject, but nobody asked what the subject is. Well, it's the presidential candidacy. It's been a long time since I've done this one, but so many people are asking, you ready? The snake, on her way to work one morning, down the path along the lake, a tender-hearted woman saw a poor, half-frozen snake. His pretty colored skin had been all frosted with the dew. Poor thing, she cried, I'll take you in, and I'll take care of you. Take me in, O oh, tender woman, Take me in for heaven's sake. Take me in, O oh tender woman, sighed that vicious snake. She wrapped him up, all cozy, in a comforter of silk, and she laid him by the fire, said, with some honey and some milk. She hurried home from work that night. As soon as she arrived, she found that pretty snake she'd taken in had been revived. Take me in, O oh tender woman. Take me in for heaven's sake. Take me in, O oh tender woman, sighed that vicious snake. She clutched him to her bosom. You're so beautiful, she cried. But I hadn't brought you in by now. You know you would have died. She stroked his pretty skin again and kissed and held him tight. But instead of saying thank you, the snake gave her a vicious bite. Take me in, O oh tender woman, take me in for heaven's sake. Take me in, O oh tender woman, sighed that vicious snake. I saved you, cried the woman, and you bit me, but why? You knew your bite was poisonous, and now I'm going to die. Shut up, silly woman, said the reptile with a grin. You knew damn well I was a snake before you took me in. You guys get where this is going? You knew damn well I was a snake before you took me in. Remember what I told you? Donald Trump didn't get to where he is today by writing checks and saying, I'm sorry. And you notice he didn't say, this fits Joe Biden. He's reading it on his campaign. I was a snake before you took me in. You knew I was a snake. Now, I'm going to die. Shut up, silly woman, said the reptile with a grin. You knew damn well I was a snake before you took me in. I think that, personally, I think that was his last... Oh, what's the word? I think he was, he was giving you one last opportunity to back off. Uh, because it's one of those moments where if you understood what's being said in the context and who's saying it, then you would get the message. All of those people out there, they don't get, who do you think the snake is? Who do you think the snake is? The reptile, who do you think that is? It ain't, the, it, it ain't this guy sitting in the chopper, so who else is in the picture?